15 months old and 18 months old, <clears throat> there are some um, biological changes in the brain that happen. And if your needs have not been met properly by your parents at those junctures, um, something happens. And so by your needs being met, uh, I mean, like, if you just <coughs> want to be cuddled and they um, change your diaper and stick a bottle in your mouth, um, they do not return you from a place of anxiety to back to joy and comfort. And so these pathways in your brain uh, get scrambled and, like, um, made solid to the point where you're never going to feel like you'll ever be satisfied, you'll ever have joy, or you'll ever be comforted. And that happened to a lot of us. Uh, in fact, probably most people, because no one really understands our needs. Um, so the Lord just spoke to me today that when that happens, there's like an essence of joy that the enemy comes in and takes us away. And even when we get healed from that, even when we know that the Lord is going to meet our needs, there's some intrinsic essence of joy that's been robbed from us that we feel like we will never grasp. So the Lord told me that it's He is in the process right now of returning us, returning that essence of joy to us. And... Um, and I just pray right now, Lord, that you would restore the essence of joy in everyone who hears this, Lord, to the point that they were flooded, Lord, with your joy and what brings you joy. And I think the reason the Lord is doing this is because it is the joy of the Lord and the goodness of the Lord that brings people to repentance. And that just like there's joy in heaven over one sinner who repents, I think that he is going to use that joy um, as a conviction mode um, on unbelievers. So, Lord, uh, return our essences of joy, Lord, and, uh, and align us with your joy. And I just plead the blood of Jesus over that, that you would align us with your joy and restore us to your original essence and original template for our joy in Jesus' name. Amen.